So we're just having a look at a few things that have been going on recently. It's been some awesome trading opportunities. Um, I've had a month away overseas and really got a good chance to have a go at some intraday trading. I've, my main focus is still on swing trading, but um, all my swing trades are looking after themselves. I don't need to watch those. I just set just adjust my stops on those so I've been able to have a really good go for uh, trading intraday and trading a lot uh, a lot of this more volatile moves that I wouldn't have tried to trade once so, um, so I'm getting really good at it now I'm getting uh, getting very good results with it and uh, I've really perfected my system now so um, Having said that, though, I was anticipating this move here. The US dollar got smashed lower here, and I was I had my alert set for it, but unfortunately, it was um, it had already made a good part of this move by the time I actually was able to get a trade on. But that's just the way it goes, and um, and you can't get every you can't be right there. On every trade, um, not the way that I trade anyway, but um, and um, so this one was interesting here. This was uh, this MACD divergence here, and the price was going up. So you know this is coming up to an announcement here, and um, I don't trade ahead of the announcement. So some people might have taken a trade here ahead of the announcement off the break below VWAP. That was a that would have been a valid trade on my method. But I couldn't be bothered taking that one. I waited till after the announcement. I took a small trade on here, so I'm just getting a lot more confident now with what with taking these opportunities. It's really increased my profitability, and um, and um, I'm really enjoying trading trading these um, opportunities as well. Uh, just really understanding price action so that was a really nice setup on that um, and I'm hoping to get more to the downside there's still good momentum here but I just took this one just as a short a small small intraday here but um, just, um, just having a look at um, a few other trades that have been really good this is uh, this was just a method Somebody is posting, I can't remember their name off the top of my head, their YouTube channel, but they were using pivot points on the daily here, and they were using the 4 hour and 15 minute here. And, and uh, this is a, like a total scalping method, they were just scalping, full, full on scalping with this. So maybe that's my, I never th thought I would go down that road, but um, something similar to this on sort of playing around with different ideas like this and, uh, and just uh, seeing maybe I can look at some scalping opportunities but that's not really my scene so um, but it's, uh, certainly it's, this is um, just the RSI here so the basic idea of the pivot I don't use pivot points but this person was using pivot points on the daily and uh, just the um, the main idea is the main idea is the four hour RSI here was diverging here already, so you wait till the announcement comes. They don't talk about announcements on that video, but they don't talk at all on the video. To be, uh, it's just music playing while they're showing you what the trade did. But uh, so this is an example of one that I was just playing around with. Um, on, on this um, particular method, this RSI here, this was touched the. It's got it's the overbought area here. What you're looking at, and then you, and then you, going with the momentum off the four hour. That seems what they're doing, but, and um, and then you once it hits the bottom, once it hits the bottom of the RSI here, then they take the exit here. It's just a pure scalp in a uh, very very short amount of time but um, it's quite effective and they've 
they they trade very similar to me. Um, they trade. Um, they take positions add add to the position as it as it progresses, and they close out all at once. It's none of this half off business. They, ex, they exit all trades on the particular point all at once, which is a great great idea. This half off business, I can't can't see the point of that. But um, like I see a lot of people do when they scalp, they'll take half off and then they'll take a quarter off. I uh, can't be bothered. Just get out of the trade and be done with it. You've made a profit on it, so why muck around taking half off? I can't see the point of that. Um, so, oh, natural gas. This has been awesome. Natural gas trade. Um, this is the futures. Futures. Um, this is the intraday one. Uh, been some awesome trades on natural gas. Um, a lot of people have heard about um, optionsellers.com. Um, Blowing up 150 150 million dollar hedge fund, and that was, and then there was still money owed on top of that because the clients were on the hook for negative balances. So I don't actually know how much the negative balances were, but basically the guy was selling, the guy was selling naked calls, naked calls on the anticipation that natural gas wouldn't go much higher than what, I don't I can't remember what the price was, but say. Um, so he said that it wouldn't go any higher than here and he was expecting it to drop back or whatever. So it's just kept going and they've been liquidated. The whole fund just got liquidated. So so that's so plenty of people have been taken out that way. Plenty of huge funds have been taken out by naked selling naked options and getting it goes against you and uh, and, and the limit the lot the uh, Losses are unlimited, as they, as the clients found out. Um, but that's their fault for that's their fault for not understanding what they are investing in. But um, so so this has been awesome. Look at that volume on that, that candle there was the close here into the close there. So it's going to be really interesting to see what everyone's been talking about natural gas. So it's really been an interesting one to to uh, trade it's good well it's um, got plenty of good volatility and um, there's nothing worse than trying to day trade something that doesn't move much uh, something's too close to vwap like that like that was there it's not worth bothering with but but it's showing good moves above and below vwap that's what you want to look for and um this is crude. Crude's been awesome. Crude's had two months of just of just declines, and it's just been absolutely fantastic to trade. It's one of my favourites because it's high, highly uh, it's high liquidity in in crude, and uh, it's just a great great thing to trade. Um, this is natural gas on the on the weekly daily. Uh, this back in September it started mid mid September it started to go on. I didn't actually think there would have been much in it either. I thought this was the top here and maybe it was and then we had this breakout here and then it just took off like nobody's business. Um there were different reasons for this but basically um it was a massive short squeeze and it still looks like it's gonna keep going but going to be really interesting to see what happens with this and uh, I'll look at oil this is this is the weekly um, oil and uh, the daily and uh, look at that massive straight down October start I was away overseas at this time I was trading this um, and look at this huge had a great run up here and then a massive Oil's great when it's going up, but it's even better when it's going down. You get these moves, massive moves like this to the downside. There's nothing better. It's just uh, this is DWT. This is the inverse ETF of of oil, and this one's up. Uh, this one's up over 106 from here to here is up over 160 percent. So in that time, so, and that's 
like the twelfth uh, of October, yeah, twelfth of October to now. So I've been trading this as well, and um, the ETFs that I get are on are on Finviz. You go to Finviz, and then you click on Maps, and then and then you in the drop down box you'll see ET exchange traded funds and it's got a heat map and that's where I get all my ETFs off that Finviz Finviz um, heat map thing so it's really good to look really good to look at and um, ETFs have grown enormously in popularity in the last few years and I don't believe in investing with ETFs but because uh, when you've got a when you've got a futures contract as the underlying instrument you've got to be careful of the you've got to be aware of the roll costs which is when you hear people talking about contango and backwardation that, that's got, uh, you get costs involved with that when you're investing in these ETFs so they're better to be traded short term but you've got to know you've got to know what you're doing with these it's not just for anyone but anyway that's it for now and um, I'll do another video about some of my best trades for the year and uh, and uh, see how we finish up for the year. Okay, it's going to be really some really good uh, trading ahead. Thanks. Bye.